Hello everyone, I'm Peyton Purcell and I decided to do my second vlog discussion on the reading that Jacob Burek did called Escape from the Matrix and essentially this article is about FOMO which stands for fear of missing out and it has a lot to do with young people and this concept of fear of missing out. The author considers fear of missing out as a cultural disorder as it pertains a lot to social media and to uh, the younger generation. Um, within the article, I mentioned that 56% of social media users experience FOMO, um, and they mentioned that a lot of... Um, like the backstory to this happens like you hear all those end of life experience where you know that we regret the things that we didn't do as opposed to the things we did do so we kind of always have this mindset of oh like we're missing out on life we're missing out on these things we're missing out on key experiences if we don't participate in everything and everything that we see and in this new technological age in this new social media age we see everything and we are connected to absolutely everyone. So um, we are just consumed all the time with all this information about things that are going on, parties, events, friends hanging out, dinners, um, even business. Like it's you can experience fo like um, FOMO within your profession, within your career. And it's just always about this feeling of not being a part of something and not belonging. One problem with FOMO that the author also really highlights is that um, technology and social media has kind of replaced our idea of intimacy. So people who experience FOMO or the the people who have the highest experience have the highest feelings or experiences with FOMO are people who um, are unfulfilled in psychological areas such as love, respect, autonomy, and security, like the feeling that you don't belong. So a lot of this stems from previous psychological issues, whether that's family life, whether that's your high school experience, whether that's your school experience, whether it's your friends, like it all stems from something each individual experiences FOMO at one point in their lives. The author also found that freedom from people's opinions and the release from social comparison is it's a good thing people who are genuinely more satisfied with the choices that they make or the lives that they live or their quality of life are people who are free from the public opinion who don't spend a lot of time on social media so um these authors and these um these people, these people who study social environments and things like that are really um, experimenting with ways that us as young people can begin to cope with FOMO or us as a generation as a whole can really take on this new technological advancement and the cultural disorders that come with it. One thing that consistently stood out to me throughout the entire article was this concept of being good enough and how that is a good thing. Whereas people who try and maximize their experience or try and like, you know what, I'm going to go to this restaurant because everyone on social media says that this restaurant is the best. I'm going to go like buy this clothes and buy this and this because everyone on social media says this is the best. People who make those decisions based on those opinions tend to be less satisfied with their decisions. Whereas someone who has a good enough mentality like, oh, I don't need that. I'll just settle for this. This is good enough. And to being more satisfied with their decisions. So these authors and these experiment, like these people are trying to get us to adopt this good enough mentality. And that really stood out to me. The example that the author used or two of them was that mothers can be good enough. And when mothers are good enough, based on experiments, they end up having more successful children or a better relationship with their child because you have a mom and you give this baby the basic needs but you don't give this child whatever it wants whenever it wants and and really taking this responsibility over this child and teaching it that they're not going to get whatever they want whenever they want is practicing that good enough mentality and will really set them up for success in the adult world and later in life and that's another reason why a lot of these authors and honestly myself included think that we should start to adopt this good enough mentality especially in this day and age. So my big takeaway from this is really I've always lived by this everything happens for a reason mentality. So if you miss out, it's going to be okay. 
if you attend these things, it's going to be okay. As someone in college, all you want to do is be a part of everything. You want to go to every party. You want to go to all these events. You want to be a part of this academic. You want to start being a part of your business, your professional, your career. You want to be a part of this. And sometimes you're just going to miss out. And I think that accepting that is honestly the key to life. And one quote that actually they left us with is one by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it's, for everything you have missed, you have gained something else. And for everything you gain, you lose something else. So I think that really embodies the concept of everything happens for a reason. And in the end, everything's going to be okay. And thank you. That's it.